Hey there, it's Kay, and thank you so much for joining me for today's budget video where I'm going to be sharing with you guys my real income and real expenses for my second paycheck of July. But as always, before I get started, I do want to just say thank you so much to my returning subscribers. Thank you guys for joining me again. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to see you follow me on my journey by subscribing down below and also hitting the notification bell so that you do know when I upload. So let's go ahead and start this budget. So here is my sheet for my second paycheck. And as you can see, I haven't pre-filled any information because I wanted to be a little bit more detailed and share with you guys how the budgeted numbers come about based off of my monthly budget and my first paycheck budget. So I'm going to take black and first we gotta visit the monthly budget. So I had only estimated income from my job, 2,800. And then the first paycheck, I estimated 1,400. So for here, that would leave an estimated income of also 1,400. And then for variable, or sorry, for fixed expenses, um, basically whatever I haven't paid off from the first paycheck would get paid off in the second paycheck. So it looks like I paid up to my tuition payment which means I only have two fixed expenses for the second paycheck, my Adobe Creative Cloud subscription and my rent and utilities. So Adobe for 16 and rent and utilities, I did what, 900? And then, so that would be 916 is estimated and then 1400 minus 916 is 484 remaining and I do believe all my variable expenses were fulfilled off of the first paycheck 655 and then 655 yep so no variable refills and then sinking funds I also fulfilled off the first paycheck. Yep. So I didn't budget for any sinking funds. So that means we're taking this 484 and I had budgeted. So the goal was to pay off my Nelnet D for the month, which is 495.50. And then, based off of the breakdown that I budgeted for, I was only supposed to be able to pay $21. So if you subtract 21, that means $474.50 was supposed to go towards Nelnet D off of the second paycheck. If we take 484, ooh, syntax error, oh, 484 minus 474.50, 950 was left over, and let's also go to emergency fund, right? Let's see, emergency fund 950, yep. And so that's how it zeroes out based off of my monthly numbers between the two paychecks. So that's how everything was estimated. However, I'm very, very fortunate this pay period. Um, let me grab my next pen. So I got my paycheck from work and it's higher than I budgeted for. So it was 1507.11. And I got a tax refund from the IRS based off of that new law or bill or whatever that they did. Um, it's based off of the unemployment. Um, I guess that they're not taxing a certain portion of unemployment that was received last year, which I did pay my taxes on. 
so technically they owed me money i guess so i got 564.89 so i just i'll just put irs tax um and normally if you follow me for a while you know i don't like to work with decimals so if you're confused as to why i put decimals here um it's because i realized after looking at these numbers the 11 cents and the 89 cents will add up to a dollar so this actually adds up this is going to add up to an even number so 1507 plus 564.89 oh i forgot to put the point 11 plus 564.89 2072 which is why I said I'm very, very fortunate at this pay period. I have a little over 600 extra dollars to work with. Actually, almost 700 extra dollars to work with here. And I'm going to do some serious damage to my debt. I'm going to just knock it out of the park. Um, I did do that debt payoff plan update video, which is doing very well. So thank you to everybody who's watched it, liked it, commented on it. I'm so grateful. Uh, for how well that video is doing and how many people are supporting me on my journey like this um and i was asking for suggestions basically because i've already completed my plan as of this paycheck period i'll have completed the nail net d payment which is my last goal payment that i had set up for the original plan so i read through the comments a lot of people said to make a new plan um but one particular comment stood out to me and i'll have it i'll take a screenshot and put it up here but it was basically like just pay off as much as you can before the interest starts again in september and then make a new plan and i was like yes i like that idea so i'm just gonna go ballistic <laughs> i'm just gonna try to knock off as much as i can before it starts collecting interest so very lucky that i have a lot of money to knock into my next student loan and I'm obviously just like very excited about it. So if I'm talking too fast, I'm so sorry. I know that I do that sometimes. So I'm gonna take a breath, I'm gonna slow down, and I still have to go over my fixed expenses. So this actually worked out even better because this will actually give me a little more money to work with on top of that IRS refund because i got a credit on my rent because we renewed our lease early so they gave us a 200 dollar credit so i had 2072 16 well it's 15.99 but 16 comes out for the adobe my rent and utilities this month came out to 778 dollars which is again because of that credit we got we got a one-time $200 credit um, as like a reward for renewing early. So this is just a one-time fluke for my rent being so low. Um, it's not going to happen again. Um, but obviously this, because it is so much lower than I budgeted for, will actually give me even more money left over. So let's go ahead and add these up. So altogether, these two bills come out to $794. We had $2072 minus the $794. So $1278. So let's just look at this into a, a perspective here. I was only supposed to have pretty much enough money left over to hit my goal. And here I am with now like almost $800 more than what I was expecting to be left over with. So that's why I'm so excited with this. And I was, um, I do pre-plan these a little bit just cause having some exposure to the numbers makes the filming process easier for me so that I'm not like stumbling and having to make a lot of cuts or go back or refilm. So when I was, working with these numbers i was like oh snap this is so good okay so my camera died and i was continuing in such excitement that i didn't even realize so 
um i'm just gonna explain so i had the 1278 come over from fixed expenses um and off of my first paycheck i was actually able to pay more than what i budgeted for towards the now net d and so the goal to pay it off was 495.50 and i put 350 towards it so i only had 145.50 left to pay it off and so 1278 minus 145.50 is 1132.50 and putting that towards my next loan which is now net c um, because I'm following the snowball method. So the next loan of mine with the smallest balance, if we look back towards June's debt tracker, let me just go back, for example. So after paying off D, the next account with the smallest balance is C. So following the snowball method, C would be my next account to attack. Um, and it has 1521.84 left to pay it off. And I'm going to be able to pay $11.32.50, which is a significant portion and sets me up to probably be able to finish paying that account off in August. I'm literally just like so ecstatic about this. This is like really, really setting me up to, like I said, like just pay off as much as possible before that interest kicks back in. And then I can chillax and formulate the plan with the numbers and all like the nice tedious things that are sometimes fun to do um but for now it's pretty much just like hyper drive hyper focus kick ass pay off debt and then wake me up when september ends because i'm uh, gonna be paying interest on it so so there we are there's paycheck number two budget wild and out style seriously I'm literally like so excited that the second I'm done filming this, I'm going to go pay, make those payments and, and write them down. And then I'm going to be going ahead and editing this video. So if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really sincerely do appreciate it. I appreciate everyone who's been supporting me on my journey so far. And if you want to keep following me on my journey, then you should definitely subscribe down below because it's free. It really, really helps me out. But anyways, thank you so much for being here. And I hope to see you in the next video. And I hope to see you down in the comment section. Peace out.